Oh, Kero. So it's pretty hot out here today. Um, it's about 92 or so, but we're feeling a little cooped up in the house, so we decided to try out a new hike. It's about an hour away from where we live. Apparently there's a really cool glacier and maybe some ice bridges on the way, even in the summertime. So I packed up my watercoloring kit and we're gonna head out and see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, it was an hour, but we made it okay. This is my wife's name, by the way. Um, weather dropped a little bit. It was like 100 when we were out, but now it's like 84. But up in the mountains, it's really, really nice. So let's go on a little hike. Enjoy the view. Even when I disagree. bridge is technically out this one right there and so we're gonna try to cross the river Oregon Trail style Wow, we finally made it. Look at how crazy this is. It was it was 100 degrees when we drove here and there's still a glacier in the middle of summer and I'm a little out of breath. So, cuz I'm very out of shape. <laughs> but um we're going to find a good spot and uh, start sketching, I guess. Okay, now we're closer to the mouth of the cave and it feels like an ice cube, like a big huge wind is coming through and like a refrigerator is, is blowing at us. It's pretty crazy. 
So we're gonna set up on a rock a little further out, uh, set up our sketchbooks and lay down some foundations. So seeing a big shape like this really inspired me to do the lesson on this YouTube video on starting big to small. So you see this really nice big negative shape from the glacier here. And then I'm gonna start by breaking down all of the big mountain shapes into really big shapes and then work my way smaller into little details. coming out of the glacier, it's freezing, and it's getting dark, so I don't think I can finish this right now, so we're gonna hike back home and I'll finish it later. Okay, so it's been actually a couple days since we left the ice cave, and the reason why was because, A, I was super tired on the way home, and we lost a lot of light, so not a lot of time I could do painting then. And then the next day after that, we actually had a little bit of a scare with our cat, Gaspard. Uh, we found some uh, blood in his hairball and that really freaked us out and so we were scrambling all day trying to find a, an emergency vet to take a look at him. He's fine now though, um, it looks like it wasn't a big deal, but he is getting a little old so we wanted to make sure everything was okay. And then the day after that, I decided to get a new camera actually. Um, here, let me show on the my phone here. So let's finish up uh, our painting now. super familiar with the medium but it was still fun to try so I'm going to try and mix it up with something that I'm at least a little bit more familiar with which is digital painting so I took a photo of what I've got so far and let's see how I clean it up afterwards so I moved over to procreate and I tried out some watercolor brushes that I've never really tried before and I thought it matched pretty well um, at first I was noodling around a little bit and then I realized that I should just paint over the whole entire thing in, in some spots because I thought a lot of the details were getting lost and, and looking too much of a mess and it was a little hard to figure out what was going on. Um, I'd like to try out this stuff in the future because I thought it was actually really fun. But I, you can definitely tell this is the first time I've really kind of gotten a grasp of this kind of stuff before. But yeah, I just kind of painted over everything, uh, added in a couple little details to try to draw your attention to different spots, but I definitely think that I need to work on figuring out what details are more important to me to focus on in the future. And that's it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Um, sorry this took a little longer than usual, but hopefully I can stick to a, a regular schedule from here on out.
If you could follow me on Instagram or Twitter and tag me if you decided to try out the same thing where you go on a little hike or an outdoor adventure and paint what you saw, I'd love to check it out. Thanks again for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Take care.